Hello aviators, how are you today? My name is Magna Nordal, I'm a captain instructor on ATR aircraft. This is video number 6 about the primary flight display, PFD, in ATR aircraft with glass cockpit. The first video covers the procedures from power up until we are ready for takeoff. Video number 2 takes you from takeoff until reaching cruise speed. Video number 3 is about ILS approach. Video number 4 is El Navinav approach. And video number 5 is El Nav approach. If you have not seen them before, I recommend you to watch them, because they explain the basics of the PFD and associated control panels. And I do not repeat myself here. There are links in the description below. In this video, we will have a look at the localizer approach, which is an ILS without the glide slope. This is a 2D approach, and the vertical profile is flown with vertical speed mode, VS. We are on a flight to Mala Airport in the Maldives. We are arriving from the south and are clear direct to Benko Waypoint. We are descending to 4000 feet. Target speed is 240 knots blue. The weather at Mala is reported to be good and we will fly the localizer approach to runway 36. We are using El Navina for descent and we keep it until we are established on the final. This ensures a continuous descent all the way to the runway threshold. If your aircraft do not have VNAV, you will use VS mode for descent. This is described in this video. Passing transition level, set Q and H. Passing 1 to 1700 feet. Now, are you ready for briefing? We will cross Benko at or above 4000 feet. Maximum speed at Benko is 210 knots, but this is not shown on this chart. Frequency is 109.9, inbound track 003 degrees. It is already set and checked by both pilots. We will cross Mike Mike 601, final approach fix at 2000 feet. Minima 310 feet plus 30 feet, 340 feet set and checked. Since this is a 2D approach, we must add 30 feet to allow for altitude loss during a go around. Runway elevation is 8 feet, MSA 1500 feet. Pilot monitoring will read DME and altitude from final approach fix to minima. Missed approach, climb straight ahead to 4000 feet, turn right and proceed direct to Benko and hold or as directed by ATC. We are now 7 miles from Benko. Clear approach. We set 2000 feet altitude at final approach fix. Speed target auto. Target speed 210. I let the speed bleed off slowly towards Benko. Pilot monitoring selects VOR ILS on his or her side to monitor the localizer.
passing Benko. We are 4000 feet or above, speed 210, turning final. Established inbound, center heading bug. VS mode. Heading mode. VR ILS. Now mode, lock blue. Target speed 170 knots. Lock star. Pilot flying will open the VNAP page on the MCDU and follow the target vertical speed. Check the vertical deviation and make adjustments to the vertical speed accordingly. As the ground speed is decreasing, we must reduce the vertical speed. When I recorded this video, the glide slope was active, so I put in an image of a glide slope flag in the video. But as the camera was uh, shaking in turbulence, the image became offset. Before we reach final approach fix, we must set the governor altitude, 4000 feet. Final approach fix is at 6.3 nautical miles, 2000 feet on profile, flaps 15, target speed 140 magenta. Gear down. Five miles, 1600 feet, on profile. Flap 30. Target speed 108. Before landing checklist. Four miles, 1280 feet, 40 feet below. One thousand stabilized. Continue. Three miles, nine six zero feet on profile. Two miles, six for zero feet, on profile. Vision. Minimum. Continue. Autopilot off. 
you have emptied off. And that is all for this time and this is the last video about the PFT. More videos about the aircraft are in the making. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and happy landing!